This is the first lesson in our series on basic Mormonism. We're talking about the Bible and authority and the fundamental issue as we look at the differences between Mormonism and traditional Christianity, the issue we want to explore in this lesson is, you know, what is the source of authority for uh, Latter-day Saints and for traditional Christians? So, Danny, tell us a little bit about how uh, Mormons view the Bible. Um, so in Mormonism, the Bible is viewed as Holy Scripture, but uh, with the point that it is not translated correctly and that things have been lost from it over time. So they view it as God's Word, but there's something wrong with it. So it's, it's, it's polluted in some way or corrupted. It's, and so it, it really doesn't function as maybe the at the highest level of authority for them because of that? Right, it's not the ultimate or final authority on topics of theology and belief. Okay, yeah, so I've noticed too that they use the Bible as sort of, uh, they pick out passages that mm -hmm. support their worldview rather than looking at the Bible to, 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 uh, to build a worldview right. out of right. because of that idea they don't fully trust it. Mm -hmm. Okay, well that's interesting then. Um, then what do they trust? Let's talk about some of the sources of authority for Mormons. Um, what Do they have other scripture besides the Bible then? Right, so the Mormons add uh, three main scriptures. The first is, of course, the Book of Mormon, which mm -hmm. uh, they believe Joseph Smith translated by the power of God. Um, and then the other two main scriptures the Mormon church turns to are the uh, Pearl of Great Price and the Doctrine and Covenants. So these, uh, what are called the four standard works, the okay. Bible and then mm -hmm. these three additional works taken together, are considered to be scripture within Mormonism. And these new works uh, that came through Joseph Smith are considered to be more correct than the Bible and a better gauge of what uh, believers should believe. Okay, so they really encourage people to read their Book of Mormon, and they use these other works in their lesson material and, and, and all the rest. Mm -hmm. Then okay, so they've got more than one scripture that puts the Bible in a different light. And then, um, you know, what other sources of authority do they, do they turn to in Mormonism? I know they talk about living prophets. How does that work? So the role of the prophet is probably the most important source of authority within Mormonism, and it comes from this idea that, in academic terms, might be called progressive revelation. Mm -hmm. And it's this idea that when Joseph Smith brought forth the Book of Mormon, what he was actually bringing back was this idea that prophets were needed to understand God's will mm -hmm. for his people at a particular time, and th which is very different from traditional Christianity, which says that the Bible is the ultimate line in deciding that. So mm -hmm. what that means is uh, there can be changes in Mormon theology and Mormon okay. belief, and mm -hmm. we have seen those things, so for example, with polygamy, where at one time it was considered to be good, mm -hmm. and then it was uh, thought to be revealed to the prophet at a later time that they had to stop. And in the Mormon framework, that's totally consistent because right. the notion is that the prophet is the ultimate interpreter. So a living prophet sort of trumps mm -hmm. past prophets or even past scripture. Right. And could they have? Uh, could they then develop new scripture uh, from this point on and add a fifth standard work or something like that? I, I mean, I would think that it's theoretically possible. If mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if that having happened, maybe you would know more about that. Well, yeah, no, but it, but they, but it's theoretically possible right. at least. So mm -hmm. interesting because they of the role of these living prophets. Mm -hmm. So well, let's compare that with this idea of additional scripture and this idea of of living additional living prophecy. Let's compare that to uh, the traditional Christian view of the Bible. How how would you talk about? you know, that compared to Mormonism? Well, in the traditional Christian view, the Bible is our final and ultimate authority, as um, we read in 2 Timothy uh, 3, 15 through 17, says, um, Paul is writing to Timothy, and he says, you, you have been taught the Holy Scriptures from childhood, and they've given you the wisdom to receive the salvation that comes by trusting in Christ Jesus. All Scripture is inspired by God and is useful to teach us what is true and to make us realize what is wrong in our lives. It corrects us when we are wrong and teaches us to do what is right. So what Paul is saying is you didn't need, he doesn't even say that you needed me to come and bring this or, right, or, right. or some other authority or person. Mm -hmm. there, the scripture itself was enough to show him his need for salvation and how he could come to Jesus. Okay, yeah. Um, and that's really the Christian view on the importance of the Bible. No, that's a great point. 
So the Bible is enough. And, you know, we have resources at PursueGod.org that go into some reasons why we believe the Bible is enough and that talk about its authority and its reliability and, and the fact that, that it, it really does have uh, enough uh, credibility for us to build our lives on it. So check out those. Uh, we'll check, put some of those resources in the article below. But here's the point for today is that Mormonism and biblical Christianity have two different approaches to authority and two different views of the Bible. In, in, for Christians, the Bible is enough. For Mormons, the Bible is just one piece and actually an inferior piece. And so we want to make sure that even though many things about Mormonism and traditional Christianity look alike, this is a significant difference. Where do we turn for authority?